My brothers and sisters, as we enter into this week, let's remember where we started. The first day of the week, Sunday, we celebrated the feast of Our Lady of La Leche. This is our patronal feast and a diocesan feast, but it marks the very first shrine of Our Lady in the United States of America. This shrine houses devotion from 1565 until this present day. Devotion to Our Lady started in the early 17th century and to realize that through times of great turbulence and persecution, even plague, the yellow fever, people turned to Our Lady at the shrine for consolation, peace, and guidance. There is nothing like a mother's love. And we celebrate this week in the month of October the unique characteristics of the love of the Mother of God nursing our Savior at her breast. Looking to Our Lady of La Leche, we see the tenderness that each of us long for. If we can, this week, make a pilgrimage to Mission Nombre de Dios in St. Augustine, visit the historic shrine of Our Lady, and realize that as you walk on the property there, there is martyr's blood in the very ground. Bishop Estevez has encouraged parishes throughout the diocese to adopt the martyrs that are associated with the state of Florida. I'd like to announce for you that we have adopted Eladio and Roberto. Eladio and Roberto lived in the mid-18th century. They were from the Yemisi tribe that has its roots all the way up into the Carolinas. And in the mid-18th century, they were in northern Florida. These two warriors converted to Catholicism, and they became so devoted to the Blessed Virgin Mary under the title of Our Lady of La Leche. In fact, they lived at Mission Nombre de Dios. Well, there was a persecution of the church in those times, in the mid-18th century, and there was a governor named James Oglethorpe who was an enemy to the Catholic Church. And there was a lot of blood on his hands. On July 22nd, 1740, James Oglethorpe and soldiers entered into the property of Mission Nombre de Dios, and they began to desecrate our beautiful shrine. These two warriors, Eladio and Roberto, alone faced their persecutors, and they fought off and tried to defend the image of Our Lady of La Leche that you see here. They ultimately gave their life. And when the soldiers from the Castillo San Marco came up to drive away these men who wished to do evil and desecrate the sacred, they found Eladio and Roberto at the feet of Our Lady of La Leche with a pool of blood at the sanctuary. These are just two martyrs in our own backyard. Let us look to their witness and their love, and let their love inspire us today, because the tenderness of mo our mother is still with us, and the sanctuary that was burnt down was built up again. Let us go in haste to our mother this week. Let us pray before her that in our own times of difficulty, we may find consolation and peace at her feet, certainly where Eladio and Roberto found their definitive end and a new beginning of eternal life. God bless you.